my name is Silo Chinchi, and I'm here with a little special. Um, thank you so much for staying tuned for this, and uh, thank you for almost 100 subscribers. Um, this is Cooking with Silo Chinchi. We have ingredients for my Silo Chinchi spicy tacos. Now, this would be very spicy, so it would be fun for some taste tests and some challenges. So, let's get into this. Okay, first of all, we have queso cheese queso cheese uh, make sure it's queso cheese because that is very important we also have one jalapeno pepper you only need one jalapeno pepper for this well most people only has one jalapeno pepper for whatever they're cooking so yeah next of all we have some pinto beans you could have refried beans but pinto is better mostly because it is a full bean and refried beans are mashed here we have some guacamole make sure it is chunky guacamole Make sure it is good guacamole and make sure it's not the crappy guacamole. Just, yeah. Here we have some salsa and make sure this is hot salsa, okay? This has to be hot salsa and not pico de gallo hot salsa because this is spicy tacos. Here we have some hot taco seasoning. And make sure, again, make sure it's hot because it's important to be hot because it's spicy tacos again. And here is some carnitas. Um, we use carnitas. You could use chicken. You could use any meat that goes good on some tacos. You could use some pork, anything you want. Um, that's pretty, That's that can be pretty much stretched. And then here we have some taco shells, just your classic taco shells. You can find it at any grocery store. It's pretty easy. Um, so yeah, that's the ingredients we're gonna be using. So let's get into the actual cooking of the tacos. First of all, we have some of the seasoning. Um, this is, of course, the spicy seasoning. What you're going to do is you're going to put it into the tacos. So you're going to put it all into the tacos. Now, you might need a lot for that. Um, so, yeah. Next thing you do is you're going to stir up the seasoning with the taco. I mean, the, the carnitas. Why am I saying taco? Silly me. Um, so, yeah, once you stir it up all so it's attaching to the carnitas, and it looks like it's orange, it, once you get it really orange, um, you should be good. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna dump the beans. So once you do is you dump pretty much all of your beans. So let's put the beans back, and then we're gonna mix the beans. Mix the beans till they're pretty, pretty thorough throughout it. Um, and then next thing you're gonna do after that is you're gonna get some of the cheese right here. Mm. You're gonna get the cheese, and you're gonna put it in there, all of it. Um, now, if you want yours really cheesy, you can put a lot of cheese. If you don't want yours really cheesy, you don't have to put that much cheese. Um, it's all up to you, honestly. Some of these ingredients you can switch and swap, um, but some of them are pretty are pretty exact. And you can use any amount of anything um, for these ingredients. So yeah, once you mix the cheese, you're gonna wanna cook this. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take this this mix of um, all the ingredients and you're gonna put it in um, the taco, like so. Um, it's fine if stuff spills on the outside, it's just the thing. It happens all the time, okay? Um, uh, and yeah, so you're gonna put all this ingredients in the shell of the taco and you're gonna put it in the oven after that. to the part which is might be my favorite part making the salsa of the taco so how you're gonna do this is you're not gonna chop the pepper but you're gonna chop the first bottom two pieces off and then what you're gonna do is that you might cut yourself doing this uh so make sure you have like a parent or guardian or something like that trying to uh help you with that you're gonna chop that and then you're gonna also chop the top so that you don't have any of that you're gonna now, after you move away the dead remains of the other part of the pepper, you're going to only have about two pieces of the pepper. So what you're going to do is you're going to chop up about maybe four pieces. And basically, what this is going to be is um, you're going to have a little bit of fun with this recipe because this is going to be the super surprise. So whoever gets this in their taco, it's going to have a blast of, like, really spicy because this is a habanero pepper one of the most spiciest pepper 
So yeah, you simply put it in there and you stir it up and whoever gets it has like a blast of really spicy flavor. So it's a little fun, a fun thing that you can do. So what I'm gonna do um, here is I'm going to get, I'm gonna actually, I've never tried this recipe. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try to put a little bit of salsa in here. And I'm gonna try to put a little bit of guacamole in here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stir it up a lot. And I'm gonna see how it tastes when it's stirred up to see if it should be in the recipe. So after it's all stirred up, a taste testing spoon. And as you can see, it's all it's all like kind of brown looking. Um, I think that's how it should look. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of taste it. Oh, that is so good. Oh my God, that is so good. I think I got one of the jalapenos. Oh, that's so good. Okay, so I was right. That was a good idea. So what are you going to do is you're going to pour a little bit of salsa or put pour your salsa in there, basically, and put a little bit, well, put all of your guac. I'm just putting half of it because we are going to use guac for something else, too. Um, and then you're going to stir it up just like I just did with the taste test. And... Yeah, it tastes amazing, honestly. Uh, I really highly suggest, even though it looks like a huge, large piece of poo, it's still amazing. It's like really, it does taste amazing. Um, so yeah, let's see how our tacos are doing. So these are our tacos afterwards. Um, you should have all of them kind of mixed up together. We had like about five tacos. Um, and yeah, I think it's a pretty good recipe. I definitely suggest it. If you don't want to um, burn your mouth, then don't add the jalapeno part. Um, that's just for people who are really daring. Um, so yeah, the jalapeno warning, it is very, very, very hot. Um, so yeah, this is Silo Chinchi's Spicy Tacos. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, peace out. Bye, and here's some bloopers. First thing you want to do is you want to... What you're going to do is you're going to put it into the tacos. Should I do that? I don't know how to chop a pepper.